So Alex, we know that finding a job is a full-time job. Uh, it takes a lot of time. Some might take three months, four months, or might take longer. And there's a lot of things that they can do. It's not just sending resumes every day, as we talked earlier, like there's a content creation, there's the networking part, there is other things. So, But it might affect the mental health of the person when they're applying for a job because sometimes they become so desperate and it affects their mental health and they cannot be prepared well for an interview. So in that sense, what tips you have to stay positive while searching for a job? Um, I mean, you know, the it's it's tough, right? I, I've been there before myself. Um, I think there's a lot of individuals on the on the market now who've been, you know, hit with the uh, you know with huge layoffs, and it's uh, it's it can be tough, right? But in terms yeah. of you know what you can do to stay positive, uh, the one thing is that keep in mind that there, you know, yes, you may be going through the interview process and mm -hmm. make with those you know some automatic rejections, but. Yeah. There are a lot of positions out there. Mm -hmm. I, I think what we read, the media we consume, kind of leads us to believe, okay, a you know that the market is that bad. But there's there's a lot of jobs. Like literally, yeah. there's a lot of positions out there. But um, you know, it just it's it requires it's a little more competitive than it once yeah. was before. But um, you know, there's just know that there's other individuals out there too, and like people, uh, people the you know with the right heart and mind will connect with you. Mm -hmm. Um. The people who are either they're in the same boat as you who are, who are going through that, uh, but also individuals who are at companies that you want to work for or leaders who you want to work for too, yeah, uh, are happy to happy to chat with you and mentor you. I mean, yeah. I've done quite a bit of that, and I uh, I think that's helpful. Like you know, just hearing okay, what is that person going through, and knowing that you can people will be a soundboard for you, right? You're, yeah. you're not in on your own, yeah. Um, but just just know that uh, you know all the hard work that you put into it does pay off. Yeah. Um, and just, you know, finding, finding things to, uh, you know, to keep yourself busy, you know, take it as, okay, it's, it's unexpected. Right. But then with any job that you have, and this is the honest truth is that there's no guarantee. Okay. You know, you could be, you know, ranking in the, uh, the sales and just, be, yeah. you know, a amazing producer in terms of whatever content you're doing. So whatever industry or application you're building, but, uh, you know, companies, we, we, nothing's promised. We could be let go tomorrow. So, yes. uh, just, you know, keep pushing forward, you know, find ways, you know, whether it be yoga, Hey, or, you know, watching some movies, listen yeah. to podcasts, you know, get out, exercise, yeah. uh, take advantage of the time that you have, but, um, yeah. you know, it's, uh, I mean, there's, you know, whatever, whatever really works for you. Do to you. Yeah. Whatever works for you. There's, there's no wrong or right way, but there's, uh, there's things you can do that can help you, you know, stay yeah. upbeat and positive. I tell my clients, you know, have a schedule, you know, Monday mornings, inter, let's say networking, in the afternoon, creating content, Tuesday morning, maybe go out for a walk, and in the afternoon, have a coffee with your friends, maybe Wednesday, take the off, because your mind also needs to be reset, recharge, and then go, go back on applying for a job, uh, go do information interviews, and even small things like applying for a job, or getting a phone call, in, uh, celebrate those small wins because your mind needs some Agreed. positive energy to stay positive. Yeah, that's true. Um, and I think that's very, uh, something that's undervalued. I mean, it can be tough, right? It feels like every door is closing on you, but a, you know, maybe you, uh, instead of the automatic projection, you get to, you know, the, uh, this decision process and you're a silver modelist. Okay. Yeah. See what you can get back. If any sort of feedback, I know that's hit or miss with any employer, but what can they share with you? Maybe there's yeah. something that you, you, you know, you, you did along the way that uh, did not work out. Yeah. Um, and, you know, finding out that if they want to share that with you or just, you know, doing a lot of reassessing mm -hmm. on things could help you out. But I agree with your approach that, okay, it can't be like, you know, cause it can be a, it could be more than your actual full-time job, just the job yeah. searching, interviewing. Yeah. It, it's, it's a lot of work that goes into it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for those great tips. Again, for the audience, if you have any other tips, you can leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Alex.